What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is for entertainment purposes only. So I'm up 500 bucks this week so far. Um, GBP USD, I took advantage of the extreme bullish momentum. You know, we got a slight pullback here on Sunday night. I entered right there Sunday morning. The second I woke up, I saw that. I was like, yep, thank you. And it pushed up as soon as we took out the high. I took profit. And for two days, price has been sitting right here. For two days. Just doing nothing. And you'll notice this clear across the board. Like if you... Here's your USD, right? Price is going up. This thing's going down. We have divergence there. Same as Aussie. GBP. GBP, JPY. And don't miss this trade. Do not miss this trade. I've been studying and following this pair. I don't know why for so long. And there's uh, there's there's opportunity coming. We just need to be patient. Yeah, see this price go up, this go down. It's everywhere. There's massive divergence everywhere right now on all these pairs. But GBP JPY, the weekly chart just tells a story, a big story. And it's clear to me. And you can, you can zoom all the way out and see the long-term trend lines, which is this. Right? And it looks like... I mean, we've been... From, from here to here is over one year. So we've been moving sideways for over a year. So this, this upwards momentum that we had kind of stopped. And now we're moving sideways. So that's 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 sign number one that maybe price is starting to slow down on the bigger picture, you know. And then we have this zone right here. This is a killer freaking zone, killer. What what exactly? It's the uh, 167, 167.000. This zone right here is a freaking whale. It is a whale. You notice every time price got into this zone, massive sell-off, massive sell-off, massive sell-off. We broke above for a very short time period, and then we had another sell-off, and now price is coming back up correctively into that same zone, which is going to form a shoulder, head, shoulder, but we're going up correctively, which that's a very important. I've noticed with head and shoulders patterns that you want to see, you want to see it coming up correctively into the shoulder. If it's coming up fast, then it's probably going to blow through. But if you're coming up correctively, and and this whole swing low, like this swing low, does not need to take out that swing low. It doesn't matter. I thought that that was like a a, a rule, but yeah, it doesn't matter. But you can see, and I, and I mentioned this in the last video, that as soon as price took out the previous like high on the four hour, yeah, right here, this high here, I said as soon as price got above that high, I was going to be looking for shorts. I entered. We were above the high. And look at, I mean, look at the previous weekly candle too. On top of that, I mean, we did have bullish momentum last week. But you notice the wick on that candle? Big bullish momentum, and we got a wick. And now this wick pushed up, took out that high, and boom, massive sell-off. So now we zoom in even further, and you can see that this sell-off took out a four-hour swing low. That's a good sign. It does look like it's about to head back up. So all of these profits are going to get probably chewed up tonight. But I don't care. I don't care. I'm holding this. And let's just say this is an expansion. Right? We have this. So price came down. We hit the top. We came down. Hit the bottom. And maybe it comes up for one more. And we actually do hit the 167 area. Fine. I don't care. I'm holding this. And I'm, I'll add in to my position there. That's fine with me. Or this could be, you know, a uh, we have shoulder, head, shoulder, there. 
That's a possibility. So this, this, there's just too many things here. Too, way too many things. I'm holding this. I'll add on to my position there. Don't miss this trade. This looks like it could be a good one. Yeah, six month chart looks like it's starting to roll over. Monthly chart. Yeah, look at look at this on the monthly chart too. We have uh, this high, boom. We have that high, boom. Higher low, and if that's the high, we just made a higher low. I mean, a lower high. This candle is a sign of a potential reversal. Yeah, so we've got many things, many things going on here. Yeah, so as of right now, my main interest right now is GBP, JPY. This is my main focus. I want to build up a position up here at the 167 area and let this rip to the downside. Because I think that is where it is going. You could also do Euro JPY, same thing. But Euro USD might be a possibility as well because, again, we have the uh, divergence. Yeah. And we're at a monthly monster freaking trend line. Monthly monster! Monthly monsters are worth trading, in my opinion. So, yeah, we had a false break last time. A little sell-off. And we're coming back up. And this was the, uh, the uptrend there. And now we're re retesting... We're rete well, we already retested the uh, this short-term trend. We've got a rejection, and now it's continuously coming up. And now we're retesting the monthly monster. We got above it for a little bit, and it sold off. But I think what is coming is potentially one more spike up, and then the reversal. So just be prepared. Be prepared for that. So I would be looking to get in above these highs on euro. And if you look at USD CAD, USD CAD came very, very close to the 134 area that I was talking about. We started touching it a little bit here. It started moving up correctively, so I wouldn't be surprised to see one more spike down and then the reversal. But we're going to have to wait on the red flag news to do that. We have red flag news tomorrow. We have red flag news on Friday. And then we have major, major red flag news on next Wednesday. So if nothing happens, I would imagine something's going to happen either tomorrow or Friday. But we'll see. But anyways, that's it for this one. Make sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. See you later.